broadcast facility. We call it Studio 1A in Tampa, right next to Fox 13. And, you know, the studio itself is not going anywhere. The host is just going to be on hiatus uh, for the weekends. We'll just do a weekend show, two hours, uh, and it'll be on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And, you know, we'll just have it available for stations that want to take it. And the network that's been so generous, Jay Harrison and Sam Bushman, that has uh, ran Liberty, and Sam is the uh, founder and president, has already asked. He says, when, when are you on? We'll, we'll find room for you. We'll put you on. That is just amazing. And I got to tell you, I am uh, a little sad that I have to step away. And nobody's firing me. Nobody's to- told me to go off the air. Radio stations are not very happy with uh, losing the program because it's really helped their uh, radio station. They love what I do, and I love what they do. And it's been a great relationship. It's just the format that it's been in, I just I can't. I can't support um, the efforts uh, alone without, you know, more money coming in. And the only way we can do that is either we had a big donor that write a, <laughs> wrote a big check uh, that could keep us on the air, um, you know, for a period. Uh, but it, it was a little unusual for me because whenever I did a radio show, I actually did get a salary. You know, if I work for Clear Channel, got a salary. Work for Bot Radio Network, salary. Salem Communications got a salary. And, you know, I did a lot of work uh, as a result of that, but, you know, not getting paid and putting in tons of hours, you know, on air and post-production and all that. And I did it because I loved it, first and foremost. I would never do something with my life unless I loved it and believed in it. And I got to tell you, I believed in For the People and what it stood for and what it continues to stand for and, and does stand for. And For the People is really designed for... All of us, that we all live here together, this thing called life, we're together, you listen to the theme song, uh, we help you navigate through this thing called life, we try to help you understand the most important issues of the day, break it down for you so you can easily understand it, whether you're a lay person or a PhD, but have a friendly human conversation, not digitized. Uh, we got so much stuff that comes at you on the internet, in your email box, and on television, We wanted a broadcast. We wanted to put together a show that actually resonated with humans, connected with people, you. I'm just afraid uh, in this digital age that people are losing that human connection, losing the authenticity of actually who these, these people are. And I never, ever, ever wanted to lose myself. I wanted to just be me. And it's good to be me, isn't it? Not to be somebody else, not to pretend to be somebody else, just be comfortable in your own skin. And you guys have allowed me to do that. And I could, I can't say any more other than I appreciate your generosity, listening, tuning in, praying for me. So many friends across the country have been touched by so many of the Facebook entries. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And I will be the first to let you know if a station or a network offers me a position, I I have not shopped around. I am not actively shopping around. I'm not knocked on really any doors, per se. I really haven't because I've been busy doing the radio show. So I'm not actively looking. Uh, but uh, when I have tried to shop the show around, I've had uh, syndicators tell me that, or radio stations, bigger ones like WFLA here in Tampa Bay, that if I was a Sal- or not Salem, because I used to work for Salem, Clear Channel product, they would put me on. If I was one of their employees, if I worked at one of their stations, I could be a fill-in. So I don't know if I have to sweep floors to be a fill-in or do some production work with them, you know, at, at night or something like that to get myself in the door, maybe do some hurricane coverage when they have storms and be the only idiot on Gandhi. I've played that game with Salem where I'm the only one in the building and the lights are off. That was fun, <laughs> being a quasi meteorologist and then talking with the actual a real meteorologist at the NBC station. Uh, but I'm a broadcaster at heart. Uh, grew up in, on talk radio in New York City at WMCA when it was the good guy radio and loved working there. And my dad put Chuck Harder on. And that's where I first met Chuck Harder. 
in New York City with For the People. He was a consumer advocate, and that was his main thrust back then, and he was great. People just loved him. He was the Dave Ramsey of his day. Uh, Chuck Harder was so many things. Um, I, I could think of just so many other hosts that have got their jobs uh, pretty much cut their teeth with Chuck. Mark Levin, by the way, a big talk show host, cut his teeth on this show. Mark Levin was a guest. Oh, yeah. And, you know, he wasn't very good in the beginning, but he got better. But he cut his teeth, like I said. Uh, so many others. But he was one of the big ones uh, that went off and did great things. And we're so appreciative of Mark Levin and a lot of the things that he has done, his contribution to talk radio. And he's an author as well. But And he's good. Uh, I, I like to listen to his insights. And that's thoughtful. You know, it's not a guy just running his mouth. Uh, I've never pretended to be the smartest bulb. Um, I look at the world and just like most of you and try to make some sense out of it. And we, again, we don't try to pretend we know everything, but we look at the events of the day and we try to connect it, connect the dots so you can understand it and have that human connection to it because we're navigating through the same seas together. And so that's been my whole process here. And again, loving God first and foremost, in loving our country and loving my family. And you know what? At the end of the day, folks, what could be more important than that? So even even though it's bittersweet, um, I just know that it's uh, it's time uh, to, you know, step off, step aside. And uh, one nice lady that I've known for many, many years, her name is Beverly Congdon, and she lives in New Jersey. And she told me, you know, God closes doors. She op- he opens doors. He knows what he's doing. And I am the one that actually is listening to God. I'm stepping off. It's just not fruitful right now. Uh, but if miracle happens and, some, you know, who knows, uh, somebody could come up and say, you know what, I want to get behind you. I want to bankroll what you're doing and want to do much more of it. Then that's, that's terrific. Uh, then they know where to contact me. Like I said, this is a monumental broadcast today, and after the big announcement over the weekend, I did not know that I was going to do a send-off show because it was official last Friday was the uh, last broadcast, but I thought I owed it to my listeners uh, to not, not to leave it to the ambiguous because uh, stories change, news changes, and it wasn't all about this show and stepping off, stepping aside, and I didn't even make mention, so I needed to kind of clear the air, so to speak, so you kind of know what the deal is and why I'm actually stepping aside for the moment and leaving, and it's really just simple economics, and though money's not everything, and I can tell you I have made a lot of money, I've lost a lot of money, which a lot of people in this country have, and that's definitely not my aim is to make maximum money and maximum greed all the time because I've had opportunities to move a lot of places and do a lot of things for a lot of people. And I've turned down a lot of opportunities that just weren't working because it wouldn't have worked for my family. Uh, It has to make sense for that. You don't want to drive your family away and then be lonely. You can have a lot of money and be the most lonely person on the planet. Did you know that? A lot of you don't believe that, but it's true. And if you're lonely now, money will just make you lonelier. It's so true. It's the weirdest thing. Um, It's true. I know a lot of successful people that are very happy with their success and their money. and They're nice people. But I know a lot of people, too, that have money and they're miserable. (laughs) Because everybody wants their money. It's uh, it's one giant headache after another. Hey, you want to call in? 813-423-8255. If you're listening in our podcast today, 813 423-8255. Four two three eight two five five. That's the number right now. Area code eight one three. That's Tampa, Florida. Eight one three four two three. Talk. And remember that eight one three four two three. Talk, which is eight two five five eight one three four two three eight two five five. If you'd like to dial me up right now and talk with me, eight one three four two three. Talk. A Facebook post said, Keith, why don't you do a podcast? We have done podcasts for three years. And it's been very successful. The downloads are unbelievable. We have tens of thousands of downloads all the time. 
Uh, there's no shortage of people that listen to the podcast. Uh, we're on a number of radio stations, or were. Um, they're going to have to find new programming. But we weren't on enough radio stations uh, to really make a dent in selling any coffee cups or anything that would really support. Again, I, I use the Internet. It's not as just a, you know, analogy. It, it is an analogy, I guess, but it, it's factual because, you know, Internet high speed, 160 a month. And I can't even afford that, you know, with, you know, I, I pay for it with my other company. I mean, everything's been paid for, but it's been a draw and it's, you know, there's a lot of money that's went into this. This is not a, you know, and we've done the best we could possibly do, but again, it's been a labor of love and never knew where it was going to actually end up going. But I realized very quickly that, uh, let's see, eight hours a day, uh, five days a week, uh, with, with between preparation and putting the show together, producing the show, hosting the show. And all the stuff that goes around the show is very time consuming. And when you only have fifty, sixty dollars coming in a month, it really makes it hard to continue on another three years like that. So it's just again simple economics. Uh, and I've made a lot of friends along the way, and have talked to so many great people across the country. We have hitched ourselves to some great causes uh, to help a lot of good people, and that's really I'm so happy that we've been able to um, shine the spotlight on Michael Funk, uh, that case up in Nina, a uh, dear man that tragically lost his life unnecessarily. Well, the Nina police shot him dead, a hostage standoff situation, and they shot the wrong guy. But it's believed that the police actually meant to kill him. Uh, it was just weird. Uh, you can listen to our broadcast at ForThePeopleShow.com anytime. ForThePeopleShow.com. Just click on Michael Funk. There's a little tab there. We have a little section on the website for that if you'd like to update yourself. But we've had a lot of press, television and radio through the years. We've been interviewed by NBC, ABC, CBS, and uh, the Post Crescent. We've been written up uh, probably a dozen times or so for the work we've done with K Reitz and with Eagle Nation Cycle. But yeah, I'm kind of like a celebrity up there, and I never really was looking for that, but We've gained a lot of listeners up in Wisconsin as a result of that, and um, if you want to hear those shows, they were special because they were in front of a live studio audience, a bunch of motorcycle people uh, and and locals. It was it was just the best time of my life to be in, again, uh, a community that suffered a big loss of a, a guy that should have never been shot, that was a pillar of the community and still missed, and we just uh, did an anniversary show for him, and we had Phyllis Funk on, he may have tuned in for that broadcast but it was it was very special but i love the people of anita wisconsin especially vegan nation cycle or anybody that uh has been part of that and uh, understands that story i was moved and still moved and anything i can do to help please let me know and we're going to continue with a weekend edition of for the people so you can always log on to for the people show.com um we'll knock the show out on a friday and it'll summarize the week and you can listen to it saturday and sunday but I'm just not going to be here Monday through Friday. Uh, but you can listen Monday through Friday if you want to past shows anytime because we have, what, over a year and a half worth of shows right on the front page at ForThePeopleShow.com. So you can have a For The People marathon, <laughs> and you'll have an absolute blast uh, from the past, from a lot of different uh, shows that we've done and a lot of news that's passed by. A lot of stuff still relevant. But, you know, my comments can get into my heart and my mind on a myriad of different issues and definitely we'd love to hear from you today if you're listening you'd like to weigh in and uh tell me what for the people has meant to you 813-423-8255 i'm looking at the phone right now we have an open line 813 area code 423-8255 813-423-TALK that's 813-423-8255 and the chances are maybe a lot of people have thought, well, he's gone now, and they're not even looking for the radio show today, and that could be the case. Um, a lot of them listen to the podcast, but not at the times that we broadcast from 11 to 1. And we never put the phone numbers out. Well, we did, but once once in a blue moon. So people are not conditioned. But I wanted to put it out there because, again, this show will have tens of thousands of hits. Um from around the country, people want to hear what happened to the broadcast, why we went off the air and all other stuff. And we're going to predominantly post this audio um, on the page 
and on YouTube and different places and platforms.